Hi guys, so we're on to the next chapter of Geronimo Stilton, The Volcano of Fire. And this is the chapter, Read Me. Hmm, I just love the scent of books. I entered the library and immediately noticed a lectern with a book on it and some strange instructions. Instructions, place yourself at the center of the circle. Ask your questions loudly, and I mean loudly, Protect your head and wait. I had nothing to lose, so I did exactly what the instruction said. First, I moved the lectern aside. And stood in the center of the circle on the floor. Then I started... Oh, sorry. Then I asked in a trembling voice, What is the cause of the earthquakes that are destroying the kingdom of fantasy? When I was done asking my question, a mysterious voice called out, Can't you read? It says to ask your question loudly. So I did. Then I shut my eyes, ducked my head, and waited. What is the cause? Suddenly, a spot on the floor quivered, and the bookshelves filled with books began to shake. Then the books of all shapes and sizes began to fling themselves at me. As they flew through the air, they screamed, Read me! No me! Hey, watch the spine! I was here first! And the books with your answer will arrive from the air. <laughs> That's funny. In a flash, I was completely buried under a mountain of books. I should have known what else would be... What else would be in a talking library but talking books? As soon as I climbed out of the pile, I held up my paw for silence. Please, everyone, be quiet. We're in the library, after all. I squeaked. Shh. Then I asked the books to divide themselves into subjects. On the right, I want books about earthquakes, and on the left, I want books about volcanoes, I began. Pushing and shoving, the books tried to organize themselves, but every few minutes, another fight would break out. They all wanted to be on the top of the pile, so I would read them first. They screamed and shouted, Read me first! I've got color pictures! Big deal! I've got a pull-out map! Oh yeah? Well, I've got a genuine leather binding. After a while, they were screaming so loud, I could barely hear myself squeak. I couldn't believe it. I love books, but these books were driving me crazy. At last, I managed to get them to organize themselves al alphabetically. I will read all of you. Oh, here he is in the library. Oh boy, that's a lot of books, isn't it? rodents on her, I promised. And I did. It took me a full day and full night to read them all. I learned many things about earthquakes and volcanoes. Too bad I didn't find the answer to my question. Earthquake, the shaking, rolling, or sudden shock of the Earth's surface. Volcano, a mountain in the shape of a cone with a crater that may expel lava, ash, and smoke. Epicenter, the point on the Earth's surface that is directly above the focus of an earthquake, the point where it begins. Tremors, trembling or shaking after an earthquake has taken place. None of the books explained why the ground had been shaking for a week. They also didn't say why there were never, there had never been earthquakes in the kingdom of fantasy before. I had, I did discover one interesting thing though. It's seen that all earthquakes are strongest at a point that is called the epicenter. I decided there was only one thing to do. I'd have to go to the epicenter to see what was going on. I pulled the map of the Kingdom of Fantasy out of my bag and marked a red spot at the point where I thought the epicenter was. The volcano of fire. My whiskers trembled with fright. The books were sad to see me leave. They ruffled their pages and waved bookmarks as I headed out the door. Come back and see us again, Knight called a large encyclopedia. Hope you got a lot of info from me, piped up a small red pocket dictionary. Uh, no offense, Red, 
but you pocket editions are a little short on content, insisted a leather-bound reference book with faded gold letters. Oh, when you think you're better than those old pages. When was the last time you were updated? Shot back the dictionary. I could tell the books were about to start fighting again, so I quickly slipped out the door. Whew! I never thought I'd be so happy to get away from a stack of books. Hmm. Well, that's the end of this chapter, guys. The next chapter is called united forever so we'll have to see how that one goes till next time bye guys